All right, so today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to do a firmware update on the Shure ULX-D series. This should work on the singles, which we'll pull out a single in a minute just to make sure. But as you can see here, if I can get this to focus, we have a lot of different firmware versions going on. So first thing we're gonna end up doing, I'll go to the back and show you how we have them connected. So on the back, we are going into all the primaries. You should be able to do secondary if you want to, since it's sure control. And way back, back in the back, there's a switch. And then I have that switch coming out of it, just going into this wireless controller. That way I could uh, make sure the app and everything functions. And I'm coming out of this wireless router into the computer. You could just plug an ethernet cable straight from the computer into one unit at a time, or you could do an ethernet cable coming straight out of the computer into the switch and just bypass this whole wireless thing. I'm not gonna be using any of the wireless function of that for the firmware updates. So now onto the computer. So you will go to Sure's website and you're going to download whether you have a Mac or Windows, and I have Windows, so we have the 64-bit, let that install. And then once it's installed, you'll open it up and if it doesn't automatically open up to this, we need to be under preferences. So then when you're under preferences on network, this is my ethernet connection that I had. And the way that I confirmed that was I just checked the IP address of this router and then confirmed it was in the same IP subnet range. So once you've got that and you have it selected and you hit okay, it will scan and it is going to find what all is available. So then once you have everything available and you make sure that you have all of your connected devices, then we can go to the next step. So the problem that we were having, and it's even happening here, is not showing our ULXD quad. We have one of them that's missing. And so we're going to try to figure out how to get that fixed. So the next thing we're going to go to is our updates that are available, and we will try to just fix the, or the firmware on the three quads and fix that one individually. So there are all sorts of updates that we do not need here. So a lot of these are on devices that we don't even have. And make sure, yeah, this has a bunch of things to do with Axient and all sorts of other good stuff. So we're going to not select all, we're gonna select none. And we are just at this moment, just going to select our ULXD. So we need ULXD quads. There we go. So there's a dual and a quad. So there's a 2.5 that's out now. So we will download that. And sorry, we'll find our ULXD quad extended band dual receiver. Hmm. There's extended band quad. We'll go ahead and get this 2.5 as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and download the single because we do have quite a few of those as well. And I'll go back and show you in another video how to do the transmitters. So we'll go ahead and download those and let that process happen. And then we'll go ahead and come back in a minute. And now you can see that we have changed from a green to having a yellow and a green. We'll go ahead and See if it'll let us do all. So we do have the updates for those. And then we'll hit send updates. And it's gonna show all the devices it will be updating and it is updating them. So I'll see that it is doing, it does say update in progress. Do not power off until complete. So we're gonna go ahead and let all those updates do. And if you can see, we do not have an update going on at all for the one that is not connecting for some reason. So we'll let all these updates finish and we'll show you that the firmware did update. And as the firmware update is occurring, these will click off and reboot themselves and kick back on. So don't let that scare you at all. And as you can see, this one kicked back on and update's still in progress. And as soon as we get them to finish up, we'll go through the settings and make sure all of our firmwares are matching. If you're trying to figure out where it's at, we'll start from here. You'll go ahead and click the round knob twice, go down to device settings, and then you will go to version. 
We'll do the same thing on this one. And it looks like it's got them at the 2.5, which is great. 2.5. And we are good to go. Sweet. So everything's 2.5 except for our one guy that just for some reason is having problems with network connectivity, even though it shows it is connected to the network. So that's how to do the updates on the receiver. And then I will show you in another video how to do the updates on the transmitter. Hope this video helped you. So I did decide to go ahead and put how to firmware update your handhelds and your transmitters on here. So you'll go to the 198 updates. We've already showed you how to hook up all the receivers. And then you will go all the way down until you find the ULXD body packs. You'll select those. You can unselect everything else. You'll hit download and then it will show up here. So you do need to go ahead and send these updates. Probably good to just send them all at the same time. So we will send those updates and then unpause it and show you the rest. So this will be interesting with one hand, but we're going to turn on a microphone. We're going to sync it to one of the ones that have been updated. And then once we have it synced, you'll go into your menu. And then you're going to be doing device utilities and transmitter firmware update. Then we'll hit enter, and then there's our 2.5 download. That's the one we want to do. And then we'll see. So you get that on, then you press enter. And it's gonna be really hard with one hand, but you hold it six inches away, and it is using infrared or IR to send the update. Then you'll just keep holding it. And this will be the same thing whether you use a handheld or you end up using a belt pack. Sorry, just trying not to cover it up or move. So I'm not really sure what ends up happening if you mess up in the middle of it. So kind of a slow way to do this, but I guess it's about the only way they can do it. So... Getting close. And this was at 2.1.1 point something. So we'll check our version after the firmware is done. Almost there. Completed. All right, then once you get that completed, it's going to say updating here, and we've got that. And so then we'll open this up and show you how to do this. All right, so once you've opened it up, we will go to the right, go to utility, go to the right, go to version, and there we go, we're at 2.5. So that successfully updated it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out, and let us know if you have any questions.